and welcome to today's class and I've actually got quite a few of you doing this class this afternoon. Um, I did it for a sort of private group of ladies as well on Tuesday night on Zoom, a group of ladies that all sort of know each other. Um, so here I am making the cards again. So I should know what I'm doing now. Um, and I really should say hello to the ladies who've booked on the class. And I'm trying to remember names without checking my book. So hello to Sally, Lisa, Vanessa, Mandy, Barbara and Juliet. I think I've got everybody's name. But I think I best just check because I don't want to upset anyone. Um, yeah, I've got it right. So, I filmed this video at, I think it's now about five past nine on Wednesday evening. I've had a bath. Craig is out. Um, he takes his son to football on a Wednesday. So, I've had a bath and I'm in my pyjamas, um, evidence. I'm in my London, my favourite London Christmas pyjamas, but they are so worn um, I really, really would like some new ones, but they don't do them anymore. And they're my absolute faves. Um, I really like things like London themed. So if you see any nice London themed Christmas pyjamas on your travels, then do let me know because I'm after another pair. These were from Asda and they've been brilliant. Um, but I fear I might have to throw them away soon. But anyway, I've had a bath. I've got my clean pyjamas on and I thought whilst it's quiet and no one's in the house, is due back in about 45 minutes. I shall get these cards filmed for you. I could put it off until tomorrow and then I'll be having to make um, Craig be quiet. So I thought, nope, Julie, I'm tired, but let's get it done. So I've got the big light on, big lights on. And um, that would probably only make sense to anyone from the UK or particularly from Yorkshire. Um, so we are going to make today, you have enough supplies for two of each card. Some of them are more simple than the others. And I think most of the ladies last night actually, um, did two of each card. Um, so this is the first one, really simple one. Um, and then the second one, and I've got a couple of versions. This was the one I shared for you to um, copy, but last night I did one with Peace, Peace on Earth, so I did that one. And then the last one is this one, and again last night I did, oh, that's a bit, I did Peace on Earth, okay. Just to make it a bit different. Um, so let me go through your pack. You should have a stamp set. You should have a quarter of a pack of the papers. Please note these are cut down because I used them last night. So mine do look a bit smaller than yours. Um, now I've made a four par. They should be six inches wide by 12 inches long. But I've cut some strips off um, mine for one of the cards. And then... Ink pad wise, you really need Misty Moonlight, Highland Heather and Pool Party. So I'm just going to mount my stamps onto my blocks. Now, for this video, I might just do, do the joy again. Um, or I could, and I'll get peace out and just have it there. Now, if you haven't got a mat... Um, I'm also going to get the large star out and on earth, peace on earth, the holly, the holly berries, obviously you will have all these um, blocks so you have to swap and change and then to the world and that needs to go. I've only got all these because it's my job and I used to have them all for my in-person classes when we were allowed to share things. I don't know when that will ever happen again. So that's the stamp set. I've sorted that out. Now, in your pack, you've also got some tiny blue gems. You should have four. 
two light ones and two darker ones and um, they'll probably be loose in your pack. You've got some ribbon, you've got a metre and a half of ribbon wrapped up and then you've probably got a random piece of card like a scrap that I forgot to put in. Now when these kits were packed, they were packed sort of in an order. Now if you've opened them and moved everything around then that's naughty. So I'm going to have to go through everything with you. Okay. So please bear in mind, for these, I've only got one of each. Because I'm only going to make one card on screen. So for the first card, I need you to put on a pile your two Misty Moonlight card bases, your two pieces of Highland Heather, and then two smaller, the smallest. Oh, that's not the smallest. Where's the smallest one gone? Have I not done it? Oh, there is one smaller. Please be careful with these paper uh, card because it won't work if you get the wrong one. And if you do want to check with a ruler, the smallest one is nine centimetres wide by 13.3. So you've got two very small whites, two Highland Heathers, two Misties. So let's put that to one side. That's the first card that I want us to get all our card bases and stuff set up. Now, what else you should have in here? Remember, I've only got half of what you've got. You should have, um, let me get this right, four larger pieces. And these measure 10 by 14.3. So you should have four larger pieces of white. I've only got two. I've got half. And then you should have two medium and these will be 9.5 by 13.8. And what I want you to do, and you, then you'll also have, and I have actually got four, I think. Oh, no, I've got three. You'll have four card, white card bases. I want you to put two card bases to one side with two of the larger 10 centimetres by 14.3. I want you to put those to one side. So two white card bases and two large pieces. And then for the final card, I want you to put away two card bases and then you'll have left two large white and then you'll have two mediums and put them on a separate pile so hopefully you've got three piles and we're going to start with this one okay now if you don't have one of these for new stampers one of these mats they're four pounds fifty and i do suggest you get one because they're really good for using these photopolymer stamps and what I'm going to do with this card, I'm going to put the card that I'm making to one side there so you can see it. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm just checking on the video that you can see it. And this is really, really simple stamping direct onto the white. Um, no ribbon, no cutting, just really nice stamping. So we're going to take the Misty Moonlight ink pad. And if you don't feel confident and you're stamping direct onto here, please have a practice on some scrap paper. But these words do stamp really nice. And the ladies on my class on Tuesday night commented. So I'm going to do tap, tap, tap. So you don't have to do heavy taps. I'm just doing like, like a little peck. You don't have to press like you, you know, giving CPR or anything. So tap, tap, tap. And we're not quite halfway down. But we are in the centre. If that makes sense, I don't want to be halfway down. I want to be a bit higher up. Straight down. You don't need to rock and roll and straight back up. And look, that's a lovely, lovely image. Now, if you want to, whilst you've got this out, you can get your other piece, your small piece that you had in that same pile and stamp the joy. Stamp the joy on that one. That sounds like hallelujah. Stamp the joy. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is take my Highland Heather and my star stamp and I think this is a bit dark I want it to be subtle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it onto my grid to, to make the ink lighter and I'm going to stamp over my joy a little bit that sounds wrong doesn't it I want it just a bit lighter so it's a little bit more discreet so I'm going to stamp off again and then stamp over my joy <laughs> that sounds like I'm being really mean and again you can do that on your other card. Now, I do need to say that I know I go fast and 
it is my job this so i do craft quite quickly um but you can pause this video by pressing at the bottom of the screen you can press pause you can hold your finger down press pause and you can drag the um cursor back so you can rewind but i i will be here in person type in comments um to help you okay so now i am going to stamp some holly and what you need to be aware of is when you do the holly that i'm going to do it in pool party it's quite a modern holly this one just be aware don't come too close to your joy because you've got your berries okay i think i'm going to do mine there i'm going to do this one a little bit closer there um, I have stamped over the little star thing there, but I'm, I'm not, it's just not bothering me. At the end of the day, it's a Christmas card. And I'm so thrilled that, that I've got quite a lot made this year. And I am determined to be organised because we've got, you know, we're not really doing anything, are we? Going out and stuff like that. So we've got the time to get organised this year. So there we go. We are nearly done. Keep that Highland Heather ink pad open and we're going to stamp the T'other World. Now, this is a solid stamp. And when I say solid, I mean, you know, this it's like a label. I would have a practice of your technique of inking it up and make sure you've inked it up OK. And then press down, put it under, under the Y. Like that and back up. Mine's a bit skew if, but... Never mind. And again, you could have repeated all of this on two cards. Yep. And then we are going to then stick this to our, or let's be posh, adhere. Let's adhere it to our, <laughs> maybe I'm funnier at, um, late at night. I'm coming out with all sorts. Um, I'm going to adhere it to my Highland Heather card. Oops. And then I am going to adhere that to my Misty Moonlight card. And then all we need to do is pop a couple of those little blue um, gems on. Now, you've got them loose. This is one of the, we sell these boxes. They're like stamp set cases. And I keep them for to put all my um, little opened bits in. So these are the ones that I've cut down for classes. So I'm just going to take some off with my scissors. And some are dark and some are light. And I'm going to pop, they've got adhesive on the back. And I'm going to pop them in the centre of the stars there. They're sort of like a star come snowflake, aren't they? There we go. And that is our finished card. Now, whilst I was making that, I had a little idea. And I don't know if I've got one to hand. I have. I was thinking about my envelope. Now, if you do want to be an overachiever, I'm just going to have a, a drink of my tea because I'm in myself a cuppa. If you do want to be an overachiever and stamp your envelope and drag out your crafting time, then you could stamp your envelope and I thought it might look quite nice with the holly. Okay. So...
didn't do this with the ladies on um, Zoom on Tuesday. So I did tell them if they didn't finish the cards, they could catch up watching this video. So hi to the ladies if you if any of you have. And I'm sorry if I didn't think. Oh look, that's because oh, look. <laughs> I stamped it on my mat, and that's what I tell people you shouldn't do because that ink's come off my mat now. Because I should have put my mat under the paper. So that's just a little trick what not to do. Because now I've got a lovely, lovely back of my envelope with some nice holly. But yeah, that's real life. That's real, real stamping up demonstrator life is that. So what you do, you see, is you pretend that you're the you're really good stamping up demonstrator. Okay. And you do a picture on your Instagram. And you just do it, you know, like this. And you don't actually, you say, look, I've done a lovely, I've done a lovely envelope and card. Um, stamp my envelope. It's, doesn't it look fabulous? But they don't know that you've um... <laughs> that's real. Yeah, that's Insta. Insta. You know they do these beauty pictures. Gosh, I'm really going off piece today. These girls do these Insta pictures with filters and everything versus real life. So that's Insta life and that's real life. <laughs> anyway, there you go. So that's card one. So I think I've drawn on enough for you to catch up now. And I'm wondering what time it is um, and I'm going to probably film the second card tonight and I might not have time to do the third, so I might do that tomorrow and fuse them together. Maybe if I hadn't told you, you might not have even known. So now we are going to take our middle pile, which was our second pile, and it's the one where you've got two card bases and two large ones, 10 by 14.3. Don't actually need them for the time being because we're going to cut some paper. So the first card didn't have any paper. And now the second card, we are going to cut some paper. Now I already have some sorted out from last night. So I'm going to try and utilise that. Um, typically the one I want. Right, now, let me just tell you because... I've done this wrong for me, but you're, we're going to cut some papers and we're going to cut them two inches, we're in inches by six inches. This measurement is already that I've cut you six inches. Okay. So all you need to do is turn it around and cut at two inches. Now what I would do, you won't, you could do one of each of the six pieces you won't quite have enough. So what I would do is pick another two pieces. Um, I think that should do that. You really like your favourites and cut an extra two. All right. Now, ignore what I'm doing because I've cut a strip off these. So that doesn't measure six anymore. It measures less than six. So I'm going to have to cut six the other way to start with and then cut. So just ignore this part and then cut two. Okay. So that's what your piece, that's sort of the size it should look like. So again, please ignore what I'm doing at the minute. And then I'll put it in here and this is the right um, measurement now. Two inches. Okay. I think I've probably got enough because... Um, Actually, I'm going to use this one. Two inches. Okay, so you should have, I think you need eight, yeah, eight pieces like this. If you want to do both cards, should be fine, okay? And what we're going to do, and I'm hoping you can... I've just realised you couldn't see my measuring in the trimmer, but I did say it was two inches. You're going to pop them in your trimmer and you're going to go from the top left corner and cut to the bottom right. So you're going to do it in a diagonal. Now, a little tip. When you've got something like that and you're cutting from a point to a point, don't go in with your blade from the point 
either from the bottom or from the top because your blade can bash the point and make it all fold in and crease in. So what I would do is get the paper where you want it, put the arm down, just make sure it's still in the correct place. Yep. Yeah. Lift your, lift your, um, lift this up so it's sort of in the middle. Then put the arm down and then go from the middle. So go up and then back down, and then you're not going to bash the ends in. I hope that makes sense. So pop it corner to corner. So <laughs> I apologise for that. That was my mum phoning me from their house phone. And it is half past nine and I never really get any phone calls at half past nine and I thought something was wrong. And um, it wasn't. She just wanted to check that I ate the scone or scone that she gave me, that we ate the scone um, that she gave me this afternoon when I called to the garden to get something and that I'd not left it in my bag. So there you go. She was checking up. I thought I thought they'd got COVID or something and something was wrong and she was checking up on the scone. So apologies for that little um, blip. Anyway, so what we're going to do now, you should have some pieces of paper like in a diagonal and we are going to do our starburst card now, which I've not actually shown you which one it is, which is that one. Okay, I will pop that. Oh, it's all thrown me now, having a phone call in the middle of it. Typical. So I'll, put, I'll pop that card there. Now, if you're quite particular, you can mark with a pencil the centre of the card um, it measures 14.3, so the centre's about 7.1. I'm just going to do it at the top. You don't have to if you think you can judge it with your eye. Just done a tiny pencil line there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to place my paper and this piece on the straight edge is going to touch that pencil. Now here, my point is overhanging probably by an inch. OK, I'm not gluing this down yet because I just want to see what it looks like. And then you put that one, the next one, so it sort of touches it and your points sort of match. And if you're looking, you should have a similar symmetrical space at each side. Now I think I need a bit of lilac here. So I'm going to go with that one there. Yeah. And then I'll do the other side and I think, oh, I've got a snowflake there. Do I want another snowflake there or do I want that colour there? And can you see you've got a similar amount left? Now, if, if you think that this is a too tiny to do, I'm going to show you a little trick because um, we last when we did it on Tuesday, we did get eight pieces. So I think that's a little bit tiny to showcase a piece off. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull these up a little bit so they don't overhang quite as much. And then I'm just going to re rejig. Because what we did when we started to do it is we, if you leave these too high, you need more than eight pieces going round. And we didn't want to, to do that. So actually, I could use some of these tiny offcuts that I've got. It doesn't matter what, what you use. You don't have to use all those pointy ones. I could stick that on because I'm only going to cut it off. And it's a bit of an odd shape left over from um, a card and I might use that one yeah so you will end up we're going to end up cutting these off cuts off but you will end up with be able to use them for things that's what I'm trying to say so what we're going to do now is we've positioned that on our piece of card and we're going to take each piece off one at a time but I am not going to put the glue on the back of the paper because the paper overhangs the project and it's hard to guess. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to
going to put my hand down there to hold those ones in place. And that one's moved a bit, but it doesn't matter. I'll just move it back. And I'm actually going to put something I don't, I rarely do, put glue on the card itself because I can see where I want the glue to be. Whereas if I put it on here, I'd be guessing and I might not put enough glue down or I might put too much glue down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop that back into position. Okay. And then I'm going to remove this one. You could work the other way. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to move this one and then again, put glue on the white piece there. Oh, Strictly starts tonight. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a massive Strictly fan, but I don't know what it's going to be like this year. It just doesn't feel, well, nothing feels the same, does it? But um, at least we've still got some form of Strictly. I've, you, you'll notice I've taken two off there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that on there. As long as the white's covered, it's all right. It's all white. <laughs> oh, gosh, I think. Okay, so I've stuck four down, and then I'm going to carry on this way. Oh, I've nearly stuck that one down. It's called a Starburst or Sunburst card, this one. And it's really, both these cards, these um, last two, well, last two, the, not the first one. They, um, this one and the next one, they're really good for using up scraps of paper. And if you bought last month's parcel in the post from me, then this was included in it. So it's a really good card idea for you for that yeah and i'm just going to pop that one there okay and we now need to make sure that that's all stuck down and we've got like a fan shape there going on yeah and then we turn it over now we are, this is where I got these off cuts from. You could put this in your trimmer, but I think it's maybe just as easy to go along with your scissors and cut, just cut up to the white card. And it, yeah, this is where I got all these bits of um, paper off cuts from. I mean, these tiny ones here at the bottom, these pointy ones, they're not much use for um, anything but the other pieces are I just don't think I've trimmed that one quite properly Okay, dokie, so I'm pleased with that because it's important to do a contrast in the papers. When I did my first one, I'd, I'd put quite a few next to each other that looked similar. This one, it's a bit more contrasty. So what we're going to do now, we can actually now glue this to our card base. Again, you can do two of those, so you can pause me and then do another one of those. I'm going to glue that to there, my card's opening like that. Suppose it's a bit patchworky, this as well. I'm going to glue that down. And I forgot to say, you should have four circles in your kit too. Okay, so that's all glued down. I'm just going to leave that. And I'm going to stamp my circle. And again, you can do the joy 
Um, if you do joy, that tiny bit of scrap, I've just realised that I've, only, I've not cut myself a circle. Um, so, and I've left my big shot, not my big shot, my, I've left my machine in my car boot and my car boot's in the garage. So, what we'll do, it's fine. Pretend I'm doing a circle. Okay, so I can't cut one out. So I'm going to stamp on some scrap card and I'll cut it out um, and share it on the next video because I'm going to film that tomorrow. So you pretend this is your circle. The piece does just fit on. It just does go up to the stitches, if you can see there. And I have stamped the on earth direct on. If you want to do joy, because of the Y dangling down, the to the world, I've stamped on that tiny scrap of white that I gave you and stuck it over the top. Um, I've just cut round the to the world. So I can't really finish this card. <laughs> <laughs> what I will do is I'll stamp it now and then I can show you and say ta-da yeah I must have only cut two circles out and I've used them at last night's class but I'll do the stamping and then um, I won't do peace because I'll do joy because it's smaller and it'll be easier to cut out I'll do peace on the next one So this one, I chose not to do the little stars on this one, you know. I chose just to do the holly and the berries. Um, and I did it quite, because there wasn't a star, I did it quite near to the Y, or like over the Y there like that. And then this one sort of almost touching the J like that. Yeah, I've just realised I left my machine in the car boot and I've now put the car locked in the garage because Craig and I had to swap the cars over. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Silly sausage. Well, that just fits in. Okay. And then on some scrapola, I stamped the um, To The World. And I defy you not to be singing joy to the world for the rest of your day. I just leave a tiny little white edge when I cut this out. And then I will glue that. I like to glue it over the Y, like that. But I'm not going to, <laughs> because look, it hangs over the circle. So I'm going to wait and cut the circle out tomorrow morning when I've retrieved my machine. And then I will stick the to the world out, okay? And then I will put the nice circle on the card that I've made, okay? So that is card number two, sort of. And um, I'm going to give myself a stern talking to. And I'm going to film the next video uh, tomorrow for you. And hopefully it will all be good. So I'm saying I'll see you tomorrow because I'm not seeing you tomorrow. But I'll see you in a moment to when I finish off the second card and do the third card with you. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Um, it's now the next day for me. It's now Thursday um, and I've retrieved my, as you can see, I've retrieved my die cutting machine, the boss, from my car and I've finished the card, um, the second card. So I'd already done the stamping, so I've cut it out and then I've added the to the world. So this is our second card, our, um, I don't know, our sunburst or starburst card. Okay. And we're ready to do the last card now, I hope. Don't forget you can pause 
Um, so, so far we've done this one and I did this one. Yeah. Okay. And finally, 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 we are going to do this one. It's up to you. you. Obviously, you can make two because you've got enough stuff. So you can do a joy or a piece. I'm probably going to do a piece on this one again. So I will leave that one here for us to copy. Um, and we're now onto that third pile of stuff. And this is the one where you've got your card base. Yep. But then you had a large piece that was 10 by 14.3 and a medium piece that was 9.5 by 13.8. So they're going to sit on top of each other, but you obviously have two of those, two of everything there, and you should have two of these left because you had four circles. This is the one we're going to use your, your ribbon for. But first we need to do some cutting, and this is great for doing using up scraps. Now... The width that we're going to do them, they the scraps have to be 9.5 um, the length, the depth is 9.5 by 1.5. So cut yourself um we need eight, so cut yourself them in varying patterns. Um and you need eight of them. You should have quite a bit of paper left by the end of the class as well to use for other things. I'm going to do a few ideas. This was my paper crafts, um, not paper crafts and piano. My parcel in the post um, was this one and I've got another couple of ideas to share that. Um, so... To use up some scraps so watch if you've had a parcel in the post for me and you're in the facebook group for it then watch that space because um i'm gonna be sharing a couple more makes i'm just looking at the paper and what i need and what i've got um ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. let's have one that color Okay, I have got eight. I don't know what order they're going to go in yet, but I've got eight pieces of paper cut. Now, you need to grab the smaller piece, what we call the medium. It's the 9.5 by 13.8. And I totally discovered this by accident, that eight of these fit on. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to glue the first one. What There is a reason why we're using two two pieces um, to stick it down and it's because I want a border in between all of the papers but I also want a border around the edge now you can't really see what well, we can now because we're looking at it but there's we've actually stuck these to the smaller piece and then to the bigger piece and it's so that I, we get a border around the edge as well um, it's a bit like the card we did on the coffee and card where we did the ferns um, but we did these diagonal now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to stick my two outer pieces of oh I've picked up a glue and I don't think I think it's a bit bunged up oh, that's better so I'm going to do this one's going to go right up to the edge flush, flush with the edge and it should be the exact depth of the card. And I've not really decided. So it might be worth you popping, leave a little gap like that, a couple of millimetres, popping on your papers and seeing what patterns you want. So I tend to do a snowflake and then a, a big snowflake and then a smaller pattern or a paler one. 
that's too similar. I think I'll actually pop that one there. I might even do another one of those, you know. Right, I'm gonna they're gonna be my patterns. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick I've stuck the first the left one, end one, and I'm gonna now stick the one on the right. So I've got the two outer ones stuck and flush to the sides. And then I'm going to pop these on one at a time and leave a little gap. What you could do is you could be really, really organised like we were with the um, sunburst and pop them all on, try not to move them and remove one at a time. You know, like that. Take one off at a time. I think I've got that one a bit wonky. Or I've cut one of my strips a bit wonky. love how this just came about by accident um i did i made it on a paper crafts and piano and I just thought oh i'll cut the papers this way and they actually fit on perfect so yeah and it's great for using up little scraps of paper now you may have a discrepancy if you depending on how accurate your cutting is and I think a couple of mine look to be hanging over the edge ever so slightly. So once they're stuck down, what I'm going to do is turn it over. Yeah, I can see a couple of them here. So I'm just going to trim it down. Okay, and then we have a nice little jazzy background. I'm going to do my stamping now. So I need my nice little mat, which is hidden. And I, I am going to do peace on earth. Just to have a one a bit different. So I'm going to ink with the, oh, I've got a foam pad, but ink with the Misty Moonlight. And it just fits on. It just does touch the stitched a little bit at the side. I just love how these stamp. My Misty Moonlight is a little bit overused. My ink pad, I need to get my hands on the reinker when they're available because I used it to stamp lots of brown paper. And it's um, fading a bit, but it has had a heck of a lot of use. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stamp those hollies up here. And down there. Now, if you're doing peace, you can fit on earth and you can stamp it direct onto the circle. Whereas if you're doing joy, you can't. You could do it, but it's quite low down because of the tail of the Y. And you, so you'd have to stamp on your scrap and cut that out. So I'm going to do... Um, oh, look, I've done the stars on here. Now, they're not in lilac, though, this time. So I'm just going to make sure it's cleaned off. I'm going to stamp them off. And I'm going to do a little one up there. Discreet. I'm going to stamp a piece. I'm going to stamp my on earth first. 
um, I'm going to move it over a little bit and then probably do a, a I'm going to move it over this way ever so slightly like that and then I'm going to maybe stamp a little star over the corner stamp off like that yep and then oh I'm closing up my head there and I need to do my berries so the one berry just sits in there and you have like two popping out like that well that's how I do it anyway like that and like that I love that berry stamp it's so clear I love the holly it's so 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 easy to do um And then everybody's favourite bit, putting some ribbon on. But first, what we are going to do is we're going to do our magic now. And now you'll understand why I've done this piece. Because we are going to stick this down onto our larger piece. And then we've got a border all the way around, as well as in between the pieces of paper. I'm just going to have a drink of my cup up. I've not got, as you can see, I've not got my jammers on today. Oh, I've nearly let the cuppa go to that point where, you know, you get that point with a drink and it's it's just drinkable heat, heat wise. You think, oh yeah, it's still okay, it's still warm enough. It's not past that point yet, but it's getting near. Well, that's the situation. See, I don't talk to many people and like, <laughs> apart from Craig, so... When I do these videos, it's like I'm talking to friends. Well, I am, so I do I do say some drivel um, and try and be funny. And that's going to stick on there like that. Okay. And then we're going to pop our ribbon round. And you should have enough for both cards. You've got a metre and a half. And this ribbon's not in the Christmas catalogue. It's an oldie. It's... Um, we've had it a while, it's in the annual catalogue now. I'm going to tie my. I always do mine and I do them upside down. And I want it over to this side. So I've got the right hand side here. I'm coming right over to the left. Oh, how come I've got red on mine? Something's leaked on that somewhere. Anyway, I think we'll be fine. These are offcuts that I had left over from, that's why it's not on a reel, from when I cut your ribbons. So I'm going to do the start of, like your start of your shoelaces. In a cross like that. Let me zoom. Pull it tight. Put my finger on and I'm going to do one loop. Then another loop. I'm going to cross, pinch them together. Cross the one on the left, and my thumb is sort of in the gap there. I'm going to cross the one on the left over to the one on the right, and then I'm going to push that one that's now on the right through the hole and let this tail flick over and pull the loop through and get that middle bit really tight. And then I pop my fingers in and I pull... Um, I'm just laughing to myself because the little boy next door is three. Oh, he's like my super fan, but he's gorgeous. Anyway, he's a little bit, bless him, he gets a little bit emotional sometimes. He has his tantrums and we can hear them a lot. <laughs> but we don't mind because it is lovely. Um, and um, But he likes, he must like the song. I like to move it, move it. And I can hear it on now, just faintly. <laughs> okay, so there's my bow. Oops, I can zoom back out now. There we go. Okay, and now because I have... Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I shouldn't really. I was going to see what this looked like on a purple card base. I mean, you've got a white one, but I just thought, I'll, oh, I'll maybe try one different. Um, oh. 
just to inspire the just to inspire you to buy some purple card. No, for those of for those of you who've got the um you you can stick it onto your white card base and it will look like this one. But I just thought I'd have a go at doing a Highland Heather one. And I can share it then on my um parcel in the post people's Facebook group. I just saw a piece of Highland Heather card poking out, looking at me, and I thought, oof, I'm going to try that on there. I know, Vanessa, you bought an extra pack of this card, didn't you? So it's just a little, just to, just, just to show you how you can do it. Different look, but you've got your white. And then I'm going to glue that onto there. Okay, that should be alright. I'll have another drink while that's uh, drying. And then this, I pop, pop some foam pads on and I put it in the middle like that. Now, I put some above and some below the um, ribbon. So, for this class, you don't have any gems left. I just did the gems um, for the first card. But if you wanted to gem this up, if you got the parcel in the post, you could stick some little diamantes on this one as well. Oh, I dropped it. That didn't stick down, thankfully. So, this is just going to... And the great thing is you can use your strips as a guide to see if you've got it sort of central, yeah? Okay. I'm happy with that there. I've got my nice ribbon. And then I've done my lilac card. So let's put the cards out what yours will be like. Um... So here is the card one that we did, and I've done the envelope. There's card one. And then card two. And then card three. And there are the ones that say joy. And then I have done some um, extras that say peace. Hope, 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 hope you have enjoyed, enjoyed making these cards. And if you need any more supplies to make some more, then you know where I am. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me. This has been a popular stamp set for me. It's probably been, I think it's been my best selling stamp set from the um, Christmas catalogue. Um, which And you can use it on its own. Um, without the dies but if anybody is wanting to order the dies that go with it then um, please do let me know or you can add them to your Christmas wish lists and I am doing my Christmas wish list service this year and it has now launched um, so please do get in touch if you would like any further products or if you have any questions about any of the products thank you to the ladies who um, purchased the class today so Sally and Lisa Vanessa and Mandy Barb and Juliet, thank you for doing the class with me. And for anybody else who's watching, thank you. And if you could give the video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. That would be fantastic. And um, next week, if you're watching this as a live, um, if you're watching on catch up, then these dates might not, um, won't be appropriate anymore. But next week, I will be on Tuesday morning doing coffee and card round six week four. And I will be on. I will be live on Thursday evening with Craig doing paper crafts and piano, and 
I will be on next Saturday doing uh, my stamper stack. So if you've not signed up for that, then it is too late now. However, feel free to join in and you can adapt the cards using uh, cardstock and papers that you will have that you might have at home um, or it might inspire you to order the kit to be then able to make the cards in the future so that's next week i'm on i've got three classes online next week um so yeah thank you for tuning in please do post your cards online um you can post them on my paper haven page or on any of our facebook groups and i will see you very very soon thank you bye bye